So the 2013 points championship was anything but close. Although I was nearly beat, I did indeed run the table, and at the end of the Halloween tournament, I made it clear. All right, 2014 is a new year, okay? Hey, 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 everybody played good, though. They're yeah. all good matches. Everybody incredible matches. Incredible. Everybody just had one hole. I will be beat this year, and here's the five guys who have the best shot of pulling it off. Current number two, Steven Rodriguez, plays in every single tournament and is always consistent, but tends to cap out around four under no matter what, and since competition has improved, his number two standing is shaky. In the last four events, Fred Maskey has been the best player next to me and in fact had a chance to beat me in the last tournament when disaster struck. Oh no, Fred. However, he is one of the two people I believe have the best chance to win since they play calm, patient golf. The other player with that demeanor is David Hernston, who, along with me, holds the course record of seven under in tournament play. And he had an even better chance to beat me being ahead with two holes remaining when this happened. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. That's really bad. I've never even seen that before. It's, it happened in the finals last time. Not good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He really should have had me. Now the best actual golfer on the tour is Matt Lendak. He does, however, have one nearly fatal flaw. If he gets down or makes even the slightest mistake, he melts down. Which is why, although our match was neck and neck at Halloween, I ended up winning by eight strokes. If he plays relatively mistake free, he will run over anyone he's up against. And finally, the dark horse. My cousin Jimmy Contras is the only other player to record a seven under, albeit during a practice round, and he has the ability to perform far better than he has in the tournaments. He too, however, tends to play catch up when behind and digs himself even deeper into the hole. If he fixes that, it's his to win. And of course, anyone honestly can win these things. All you do is play the course a couple times and you know everything you need to know. The rest really does come down to patience and letting the game come to you and not chasing it. It will happen this year, I will be beat but you'd better believe I'm going to try my best every single time to win. Which is exactly why these five keep coming back. To those who say I shouldn't play in the events because it's literally in my backyard, watch what happens when they beat me. They'll have come to my house and beat the guy who built the thing, and their name will be plastered on the course forever. That's what competition is all about. Let the games begin.